Well, hello everybody! Welcome back to G Bear's Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And yep, yeah, another day, another dollar, right? So today I spent most of the day out with uh, the new neighbors. I took them around to uh, all of the local um, cities nearby and showed them where to buy this and where to buy that and uh, where's the cheapest place for this and the cheapest place for that, things like that. And if they need to buy um, anything for their uh, homestead, I showed them where they can get uh, hardware at Home Depot and things like that. So, we made a big loop-de-loop -loop around the, the different cities and took up most of the day. Didn't get back here until uh, just before supper time, which was an uh, hour and a half, two hours ago. And then I had... Um, her phone with me, uh, I had plugged it in to my uh, solar panels in the back of the van and uh, the inverter to charge her phone uh, while we're driving because uh, they don't have any electricity at their place, so um, at least I got her phone charged up in case they need it. So we'll be getting that uh, stuff done real soon. I uh, talked them into uh, the best route to go, and I think that's where it's going to stay for right now. So it looks like Saturday we'll be setting them up for water, so they can get a water delivery over there and be able to take baths and showers and all that without doing it out of a, a cup and a, um, a, a watering can for the garden and things like that. So that's where we're at. All right, so back to the... LifePo 4 batteries that I got. So I uh, started this morning and I took them one at a time outside because according to the instruction book they uh, want you to charge each one of the batteries independently until it's fully charged. And then once you get them all fully charged then it wants you to um, connect them all together in either series or parallel whichever way you're going to do it and let them sit for another 12 to 24 hours like that before you connect them to anything just so that the BMS's can all um, equalize and uh, shake hands and say okay and it looks like we're going to be together for a while so this is what we got to do so that's what I'm, I'm facing right now so I have two of the batteries right in here and I was asked, how big are they? Well, there's my clothes washer. And uh, it goes, uh, they go almost the whole width. They got four inches on each side. And uh, they come up a good 11 inches tall. So they're they're pretty pretty darn big. Now, um, these, I, while I was reading the book, I started charging them. And... I checked the voltage on them and it said 13.2 volts and then I got to the next page in the manual and the next page in the manual said no it's got to say 13.3 volts or higher to be a hundred percent charged at the 13.2 they're only 50 percent charged so these have got to go back out and be charged again tomorrow so heavy no not heavy. I mean, literally, um, two of these here probably weigh about as much as a single size 39 battery. <laughs> so you can see how much bigger they are, how much more amp hours you got, how much more power you got, how much more efficiency you got, and hell, you can't you can't go wrong with this stuff nowadays. Seems like they're getting better and better every year. Of course, the minute I get these hooked up, there'll be a major sale, and I'll, I could have gotten these for half the price, but hey, that's just the way life goes, right? Especially in Bidenomics. <laughs> All right, so here's what I figured out. The boxes come with a, an upper and lower... Ah! foam rubber unit that fits the battery perfectly 
and they were all inside of a plastic bag. So the plastic bags, I'll end up using those for trash bags. But here's my idea. Just for a little bit of uh, protection for insulation, I'm going to be cutting off the tops of this box around that point right there, right where the, right where the fold is. Okay? So the, the, this becomes a insulator box. Then I'll put the battery inside of there and put the top on the top of the battery, which will bring it up to this point. And I will very surgically um, cut holes in the foam just to where the wiring can go through and make its connection. Okay. Then each one of these boxes will sit on a shelf and actually become a little... Um, what do you want? What do you call those things? A freezer chest, or ice chest, or ice box, or whatever you want to call them. But it'll become an insulated box to keep the batteries warm in the winter. In the summer, the top part here will be completely removed, and the top will be open so that heat can rise out of it. We all know heat goes up, right? And that'll give it a good inch and it looks like an inch and three-eighths all the way around the battery for air to flow out and the heat to rise. And then with this on top in the winter, the heat can't rise up any further than this point. So it's going to hold it back in. Hey, I got myself automatic battery warmers. How do you like that? Pretty cool, huh? All right. So I did get asked exactly how big were those batteries. So here we go. Here are the product overview as to what we see. It gives you all of the measurements. It gives you all of the operating voltages and all of that stuff. And it gives you the extra components, the uh, uh, terminal bolts that came with it, and insulating caps for the bolts, which I'll try to carry this over so you can keep on reading while I'm doing this which you see are the red and black caps that are on the tops of the bolts there I was putting those on the uh, terminals after I thought I had them charged but again the voltage reading showed that they were only 50% charged and not a hundred percent charged and that was after two hours in the Sun so what do I mean, two hours in the sun? Here's my meter from checking them. Let's go outside for a minute, everybody. All right, come on. Everybody follow me. Are you right behind me. Are you? Oh, thank you for closing the door. Okay. So anyway, winds are blowing as normal. Winds are as normal. Not normal this year. We've had more winds than calm days here. Okay, so here they are sitting out here. Now these two, I've already put cables, positive and negative cables, and tied them together. Okay, and then you see the alligator clips on here. Well, there's my little battery power um, uh, charge controller. And uh, this charge controller actually works as a battery charger. So you can see what it's doing, it's putting in um, 13.3 volts at um, half an amp. Now that's right now. When the sun comes out and hits that 100 watt solar panel over there, it's late in the day right now, so it's past that. But when the sun comes out and hits that solar panel, this amperage right there jumps up to like 5 to 7 amps going into the batteries. So I haven't pulled the, the charger from this and tested these batteries to see what the voltage reading is on them yet because I did get, get these in just before I went to town today. I'm going to let them uh, give another day's charge. I'll check them in the morning um, just as the sun comes up and starts charging them and then I'll clip the clips back on and see uh, how they do by noon time. And then if they are good, I'll pull them apart, bring these inside, and bring the other two out, and let them do their charge. So they'll, they'll get charged all the way through um, tomorrow, 
and into Saturday morning, and then I should have them all up to date. Now here's what my plan is. I'm going to take out the big batteries down there first, and I'll leave the um, inverter and all the other batteries still connected. So I still have power going into the place. And then I will set the four new batteries down here, but I'm going to build a little um, rack that they sit on to get them up off the floor a little bit higher. And uh, yeah, just so they're probably about six inches, the tops of them are six inches higher than what the existing batteries are. And uh, once I got them all set up right there, then I could just disconnect everything after sunset one night and connect the um, the new wiring uh, set up. You notice I got my uh, midnight controller cover off up there. That's so that I'm ready to um, pull wiring and and move on from there. So I will get those things all ready at the same time. And then as soon as the sun sets and it's still light out, I, I can come out here and that light will work because it's hooked up to those batteries. And I'll have light out here. And that way I can uh, uh, modify my settings and my wiring so that everything goes through the new batteries. And that'll be at night so it won't be an, an instant shock to them um, coming under load instantly. So that's my plan. I think it should work. And then once I get that all set up, then all of those batteries are no longer connected to anything. So I will disconnect all of the wiring and start pulling those batteries out of there one at a time. And I'm going to uh, probably bring my trailer over here, which has a 4x8 bed on it. And I'll set the trailer like right in this area. And I'll bring those batteries out and I'll check each one of the batteries for... Um, whether it's good or not, how much power it has, things like that. I'll check the, uh, the electrolyte in the cells. And the good batteries will go to one side of the trailer. And the ones that are bad will go to the other side of the trailer. And then I will sort those out because I'm thinking I'm probably going to want to keep a few of those. Set them up with one of the old inverters in my workshop to run some of the uh, the tools that I have in there that aren't on, on this system that uh, don't have a, a really large heavy draw. So that's my plan and I'm sticking to it. And I want to thank you all for joining me. Questions and comments down below, please. Questions and comments count every time. Even if you just put hi or thanks or anything like that a single one word or even just a smiley face or a thumbs up icon anything like that it counts as a comment and the more comments get the more money i earn and i'm not earning a lot of money on this channel but every little bit helps right now so please do that i appreciate it thank you this is g bear signing off